Monster Hunter's Journal number 2. It seems like this is an odd pace considering that every time I do a Monster Journal, I have no sword and no shield. I take partners Slib and Kaze with me into the tower. Despite having no equipment at all, I yearn for the 23rd floor for the water metal, as that is my goal for this, gen for this adventure. Hopefully, nothing will strike me down. On the second floor of the tower, I meet Ghosh rather than self, uh, Selfie. I accept his challenge and swiftly defeat him. He leaves behind a medicinal herb which will actually become very helpful later on. So far it's been all wins and no losses. I'm taking my time through me these areas, whacking things with my fist rather than a sword. It's quite humorous actually. Here I find myself at the mercy of a trap, turned into a frog. And this is not the only time that'll happen. I decided that I would show this because it's simply just funny. Being alone with no sword and no shield is extremely important, and I do wish I had a gold and golden sword and a diamond shield so that they would never rust and I would keep using them over and over again, so long as I was careful. Perhaps though that is not the way I should be thinking now, as I have no hands. Only only frog feet, frog legs. Lo and behold, as I travel my way through the tower, I reach level 14, but not more importantly, I find a diamond shield and a golden sword, and the golden sword has been tempered with red sand. I thank the tower monster gods, or the video game gods. Hopefully, I will keep this set, and make it more powerful as I go through the tower. Maybe not die. Hopefully I won't die, but I probably will eventually. But until then, these these, this equipment shall protect me, I think. Around the higher 10th floor, that is 15 through 20, I find something really unusual, a rainbow egg. I've never seen this color in the game, and I've played this game for a long time, and I was very curious to see what this rainbow egg could be. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the fun would not last for very long. As soon as I get the egg, BAM! A picket comes up and steals it away from me, and so begins the mad goose chase after the picket that steals the egg. While chasing this picket, many other pickets steal items from me, and soon it becomes a mugfest as I travel through the map numerous times looking for the looking for the rainbow egg's pick rainbow egg from Ababada. Looking for the picket who stole the rainbow egg, as well as all the other stupid pick pockets that took all my other stuff. But most importantly, the rainbow egg. After murdering hundreds of pickets, I finally find the one that had my egg, and I take it back from its from its remains. Vengeance is mine today, and a rainbow egg shall be in my bag. And I shall not let it go, no. I shall make sure this comes back with me. Along the twentieth floor, I find another egg, and I'm very surprised because I don't usually find these many eggs and at this point I'm very cautious, very nervous as you can see I have both my monsters out with me I really hope I don't die I really don't I don't want to die with all this stuff on me I got the best equipment and I have three eggs on my hand three eggs on hand I need those I don't want to die I don't want to die I come across a giant room another one these rooms are interesting. They have lots of treasure in them, lots of monsters to fight. And there's no surprises, because the entire room is laid out for you like a star glass was used in a monster loop. So you can see all the monsters and you can see all the items. I like these floors. It's very nice. Unfortunately, some crossbow trolls can uh, snipe you. And you honestly can't do much about it. Also, there were stealth monsters in here. And they snuck up on me pretty well. They actually killed Slib, and I had to use a Restore Scroll to bring him back to life. Stealth monsters are a force to be reckoned with, but I don't understand how I could use them. I doubt I'll be using those effectively anytime soon. And on the 22nd floor, rather than the 23rd, I run into this, an oddly colored picket. 
This is obviously the one that stole the water medal. And I, and I, well, I did not want to lose or die in this situation. So I used a magic ball and instantaneously killed it. It dropped the water medal. After Picket and Zoo were taken care of, I pick up my treasure, my prize. And wishing no longer to stay in this tower, I warp home. Sell all my things.